What comes to mind when I say augmented reality or virtual reality? My guess is Pokemon Go, which made AR famous back in 2016. Or maybe you're thinking about social media like Snapchat or some of the AR lenses. Or maybe you're a shopping aficionado and you immediately thought of IKEA's mobile app. Whatever it is, chances are you are familiar with the general premise of AR and VR. But now I have an important question for you. What comes to mind when I say AR and VR in construction? I want to frame the discussion for you. Now let's break down augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. What they each are, how they benefit the construction industry, and how you can play a role in helping push adoption even further. VR or virtual reality is an entire virtual environment where a person can be immersed within that environment. VR is a term used for a digital, a computer-generated 3D model of an environment. VR is virtual reality, so the defining concept of it is immersion. So you you're, can't see the outside world around you, you're completely immersed in a 3D space, whether that's a video or a virtual environment. In construction, one of the biggest examples is using virtual reality to train workers on tasks that are potentially dangerous. I think there are a lot of opportunities uh, for VR, mainly as a tool to train uh, job site uh, workers. Um, it allows uh, companies to train their employees um, in a safe environment without any risks involved. Think training on how to use large pieces of equipment or how to do electrical processes, or making the job site safer for you, the worker. VR also can be used in conjunction with virtual design and construction and building information modeling. A good example of VR and construction would be being immersed in a space that doesn't exist yet. So for example, you can have a completely architected building, completely built out virtually, but it's not physically there, and yet you can still walk through it and interact with it like it's real. Gilbane, for example, uses VR to validate prefabricated construction. VR can also be used to create an immersive experience for customers to feel the full experience. How awesome is it to have workers remotely, or should I say virtually, on a site visit, all from a remote location? It's all happening with VR, and now you have a good idea of what VR is, a complete immersive experience, well, a virtual environment. So let's talk AR, or augmented reality. This is the technology that drives Pokemon Go, Snapchat lenses, or some of the other favorite apps. AR simply augments the world. Looking through a piece of technology, it augments the environment that already exists all around all of us today. AR, on the other hand, also includes some um, aspects of reality within uh, this um, digital interaction. So we can be looking at the real um, environment, but add certain tags or elements that are virtual. Augmented reality is placing digital content within the context of the physical world. So what's the impact on construction? This can also be used in conjunction with BIM. A mobile AR app can put a 3D model into context. Augmented reality in construction has a lot of use cases. Uh, some of them that I've seen are kind of, you know, the ability to see through a wall. So you might be actually looking at a wall that's in front of you and being able to see the pipes that exist behind it because those are augmented digitally on top of the wall. We can even talk about it measuring apps. Most of us probably have them on our phones. They are like digital rulers that calculate distances. These apps often leverage AR to calculate the distance in the real space around them. Some are using AR for inspections to compare the reality of the work that has been done with planning documents. For example, AR can be used um, to do checklists after uh, the construction is done. But here's a real cool example from nearly 10 years ago. And hopefully this gets us all thinking and even daydreaming about the possibilities with AR. In September 2010, Christchurch was hit by a number of earthquakes. City View AR was created back then to allow people to see how the city was before the earthquakes and building demolitions. 
That mobile phone AR was able to help with earthquake reconstruction. Now, how awesome is that? Can you think of a way to use AR? If we were able to do that nearly 10 years ago, just imagine the possibilities today. I think augmented reality, particularly on mobile devices, is gonna be the fastest one for adoption. Again, just because everybody has an augmented reality device in their pocket. We are only limited by our imaginations. Now let's touch on one more, mixed reality. Now this is truly cool. This is blending of the physical world and the digital world. It takes what we are talking about all right now to the very next level. Mixed reality is a fun term that has different definitions depending on who you talk to, but the way that I see it is primarily mixed reality is used to define kind of a pass-through augmented reality experience. So if you're talking about like a Magic Leap or a HoloLens, where there's digital imagery, but it's being projected onto lenses that you can see through. The term was introduced in a paper back in 1994 called The Taxonomy of Mixed Reality and Visual Displays. In construction, Trimble and Microsoft have been working and making strides in mixed reality. Trimble Connect for HoloLens uses mixed reality for site productivity. It enables workers to review their models overlaid in the context of the physical environment. Even Magic Leap is taking the industry by storm using AT&T connectivity for spatial computing. Magic Leap 1 lets BIM designers collaborate in a 3D world. They can even virtually tour a building or a, a home long before it's built in this new world. When I think of all the possibilities and where the future is headed, I can only imagine our new virtual world. Naturally, there are always challenges, and there will be with any new technology adoption. The hardware can be very expensive. I think one of the main challenges with um, AR uh, are related to hardware. Um, right now, we don't ha have a hardware that is as precise as we would want it to be. Um, for example, AR can be used um, to do checklists after uh, the construction is done. It, there's still some issues with the interaction between our movements and the hardware, and I think that's one of the main barriers right now to a wide adoption of this kind of system. Uh, much like virtual reality, one of the main challenges of AR and construction is awareness. Uh, another one is content creation. But I think the opportunities far outweigh the negatives. And in time, the price will come down as they do with any great technologies. So I want to challenge you today. Like the Christchurch earthquakes of 2010 and the use of AR following these events, how can you use AR, VR, or mixed reality to help construction today? There is no better time to make this world a better place with all this great technology. Let's help build a more innovative and creative way. Will you be the next great innovator? Thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, fierce advocates for construction. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.